What's up, guys? It's been a while, so I want to tell you a fun little story about how I got pulled over and I was detained by six cops at three in the morning. Now, a few years ago, I was hanging out with my girlfriend at the time. It was about two in the morning, and I had to go take her home. She lived about an hour away. I really didn't want to drive all the way there, drop her off, and then drive all the way by myself back. So I asked my roommate if he'd join us so I wasn't driving by myself. He's like, yeah, man, that's fine. So we all hopped in the car, drove all the way there, dropped her off. Everything was okay. So I noticed I needed gas after that, so I stopped at the gas station. He wanted a drink. I wanted to get some snacks. So we got out of the car, got some drinks, got some snacks. I saw a muffin. It was a chocolate one. It looked great. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are we getting a muffin? Why, why are you getting this? Why are you talking about this? This is not This has got to be irrelevant. Trust me, it makes sense at the end. So after we got all our snacks, our muffins, you know, filled up on gas and started headed back. Now on our way back... There was this truck riding right up behind me with their high beams on. It was so annoying. Now, when you're in this situation, you have two options. Option A, you speed up, try to make space. Most of the time, they end up speeding up behind you, and it's a pain. It doesn't work. So then there's option B. You pull over to the side, let them pass. So for me, I saw a gas station. I ended up pulling up into it, letting the car pass. As I'm pulling to the gas station, I noticed the car that was behind me was a cop. I looked at my roommate, and I was like, yo, man, I'm glad uh, I let that car pass to the speeding up, because if I sped up, I probably would have got a ticket for sure. It would have sucked. It would have been a horrible night. He's like, yeah, man, good thing you didn't, but whatever. So he pulled back out of the gas station and started driving again. Now, if you're anything like me, you know if you just saw a cop, you know there's cops out. It's super early in the morning or at night, however you want to look at it. It's 3 a.m. And I'm like, I'm going to drive the speed limit, go safe, make sure I'm doing everything correct. So I'm driving the speed limit, making sure I'm paying super attention to what's going on. I'm watching all the signs and everything, stopping every light, not like just extremely cautious. I keep driving for a couple minutes, about two minutes go by, sirens go off, lights are on right behind me. And I'm just so confused. I'm like, I'm getting pulled over. This is crazy. So I pulled to the side. I'm looking at my roommate. I'm like, what, what's going on? Why am I getting pulled over? I was like, I was paying hard attention. After I got pulled over, the cop finally walked up to my window and then one to my roommate's window. And the cop was asking me for my ID, the registration, you know, license, registration, the typical stuff. They asked my roommate as well because they wanted their information. Now, the cop immediately said, hey, can you get out of the vehicle to me? Now, if you know the law, like, you really don't have to get out because I just got pulled over. They never told me why. They didn't ask if I was drinking. They just immediately asked me to get out of the vehicle. I probably could have argued with it a bit, but it was 3 in the morning, and I just really did. I just wanted to get out of the situation. So I was like, all right, man. So I unbuckled my seatbelt. I noticed there's some crumbs on me. I brushed them off from the muffin that I had earlier, got out of the car. And I started walking with the cop. Now, as I'm walking with the cop, another cop was talking to my roommate from his window. Now, that's a whole other story. Maybe we'll go on that a little later. As I'm walking with this cop, I notice there's three cars, six cops surrounding us. He walks me up to his truck, and I'm just talking with him. I'm so confused. I'm like, what's going on? Why am I getting pulled over? Like, I, 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 did, I didn't do anything. He starts asking me some basic questions like, where am I going? Where was I going? Etc. And I was telling him, like, look, man, I was just dropping my girlfriend off. Now I'm headed home. Uh, are you drunk? You're talking with a slur. Now, I don't know if you guys know this. I have a speech impediment. Some of you guys might notice. Some of you guys might not. It's not that strong. But some people think it's an accent. It's whatever. So I look at him. I say, nah, man, I just have a speech impediment. He looks at me. He's like, okay, that's a valid reason. Okay. He then says, have I had any drugs? My eyes are a little out of there, like, I'm wary. I'm like, nah, man, it's just 3 in the morning. I'm a little tired. I'm just trying to get home. He then looked at me and said, I noticed you brushed something off before you got out of the car. Do you have any drugs on you? you? You had to have something, right? I say, uh, I don't remember doing that. I think I had some crumbs on me. I was just cleaning myself off before I got out of the car. He said, if we search the car right now, will we find anything? I looked at him dead in the face, said, I give you full permission to search that car as much as you want. You won't find a single thing in there. He then asked me why I pulled into the gas station, letting him pass me. I told him there was this bright light behind me, pointed at the lights, said, those are the lights. 
and I just didn't want them like riding right behind me, so I pulled in the gas station letting them pass. He then handed me my ID registration, told me to go back to the car. I sat back down. I looked at my roommate, and I was like, man, I don't know what's going on. This is ridiculous. And he's like, yeah, dude, this is crazy. Like, what's going on? The cops finally came back to the window. It's like, all right, man, you're free to go. I said, hold up, officer, if I can ask something real fast. He was like, yeah, what can I help you with? I stopped for a second. I looked at him. I said, why did I get pulled over? He stopped, looked at me for a second, didn't say anything. Immediately said, I was going 65 and a 45. Now, I know I wasn't speeding whatsoever, and I, I couldn't help myself. I stopped. I said, that's not true. There's no way. I, I know I wasn't speeding unless your, like, reader's broken or my thing's broken, which I don't think mine is. And he said, well, it's fine. You're free to go. And I walked away. No, I probably shouldn't have opened my mouth or anything, but I was just so shocked that I couldn't, I couldn't be quiet. Now, clearly I wasn't speeding. I was going to normal speed limit. My reader's not broken. Their reader's not broken. They pulled me over because they let them pass me. They just had to make some dumb excuse to pull me over. Me and my roommate joked about it for a bit and then headed home. Um, that's really the whole story, to be honest. Nothing super crazy happened. It was just an annoying, eventful night at 3 in the morning. He has a funny side of his story if you guys want to hear about it. Uh, comment down below we can do another version of this video just strictly his version of it because he had a lot of fun moments that he had with the cops so maybe you guys would like to hear that this video was a lot of fun to make so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys like it that'd be amazing leave a comment down below letting us know sub to the channel that'd be awesome but yeah until next time guys have a fantastic night